Hello everybody. When you create a new character in Borderlands the pre-sequel, you're presented with this very bland class selection screen that gives you very little information about how each class actually plays. And today I'm going to show you each class's action skill in action and explain how the skill trees work for every class and their each class's strengths and weaknesses. So first is Athena the Gladiator with her Kinetic Aspis action skill, which creates a Captain America style shield that absorbs damage from enemies and can be thrown at enemies releasing any absorbed damage. The Phalanx skill tree is all about upgrading this Aspis action skill. It increases damage done to enemies when thrown, the duration of the power, and taunts nearby enemies into shooting the shield. Uh, the final skill makes the Aspis ricochet to up to four different enemies. The second skill tree, Xyphos, is about increasing melee abilities. Uh, skills inc include increasing melee damage, increasing movement speed, and making enemies bleed, inflicting damage over time. The final skill improves the melee to dash towards enemy. And the third skill tree is called Ceranic Storm, and it's about building stacks of Maelstrom. Doing incendiary or shock damage with any of your guns builds a stack of Maelstrom. And most of the abilities scale with stacks of Maelstrom, adding extra elemental damage, chaining status effects to nearby enemies, or adding a devastating fire and lightning storm to the Aspis shield throw. Now on to Wilhelm the Enforcer, who's looking to be the best class to choose if you're planning on playing by yourself. He has the Wolf and Saint action skill, which summons two drones. The Wolf which attacks enemies, and the Saint which replenishes your health. His first skill tree is the Hunter Killer, and it's all about upgrades and damage upgrades for the Wolf drone, and damage upgrades for yourself. The final skill for the Hunter Killer tree is Omega Strike, which has Wolf drop a huge missile strike. The second skill tree is the Cyber Commando, and it's all about upgrades that turn you into a robot. It gives you a melee skill that gives you an explosive punch, cyborg legs that let you shoot while sprinting, and bonus damage with laser guns. The final skill is the Vengeance Cannon Cyborg Augmentation, which fires incendiary laser blasts in tandem with your equipped weapon. And the third skill tree is called Dreadnought. And it's the tank tree and healing tree for the Enforcer. There's lots of upgrades for the Saint healing drone, including abilities to improve your maxed health, shields, and overall damage reduction. And also can replace your fight for life death sequence with, the, with termination protocols, which let you continue walking and constantly shock nearby enemies. The third possible class is Nisha, the Lawbringer, and her action skill is Showdown, which gives you auto aim for six seconds with greatly increased gun damage fire rate, and lots of other beneficial damage dealing stats. Her first skill tree is Law and Order, and the focus of this tree is the Order ability and Wanted levels. You gain stacks of order when you take damage from an enemy. Stacks of order will give you bonus gun and melee damage and reduce shield recharge delays. Enemies that do damage to you will earn stacks of Wanted. And the more stacks of Wanted, the more bonus damage done to the enemy. And doing any damage to an enemy with stacks of Wanted consumes all stacks of Wanted. So this is a great tree if you're looking to use sniper rifles. The final skill is Thunder Crackdown, which replaces your close range melee with a cone-shaped shock burst. The second skill tree is Fan the Hammer, and this has multiple skills that augment the Showdown action skill, including extended duration, shield regeneration, and more Showdown damage. And the final skill gives you an identical pistol to your first primary equipped pistol, only, only for pistols only, no shotguns or snipers or anything. Uh, and unlike the Gunzerker, this still lets you use iron sights with your primary pistol. The third skill tree is the Rifle Woman. It's a relatively dull skill tree compared to every other skill tree in the game. Uh, it gives you bonus uh, bonuses to firing from the hip, increased fire rate, increased reload speed, and the final skill buffs the showdown action skill so that all shots hit enemies ricochet towards nearby enemies, dealing 10% weapon damage, and all enemies hit during showdown explode for extra damage. And the fourth possible clap is Frag Trap, the Clap Trap. This one is my favorite so far. This is also the best co-op partner class by far. So all these other classes have to breathe air. Clap Trap doesn't breathe air, and one of the new additions to Borderlands the pre-sequel is a fast revive. Uh, so you can spend your air to revive a teammate more quickly in combat. So Clap Trap has no penalties to spending his air because there's nothing really else to do with it. 
Uh, his action skill is called vaulthunter.exe, and it randomly gives you and your teammates an action package. These include things like the rubber ducky, where you bounce really high constantly and have a chance to deflect bullets, or uh, a f it's called a funzerker, like from Borderlands 2, which gives you two guns that just fire constantly and gives all your teammates just one gun that just fires constantly. Or a blightbot minion can fly around and damage enemies. The first skill tree is called Boom Trap, and you get two additional action packages from all these skill trees. Uh, this skill tree has the Torque Fiesta, which drops a large amount of grenades that damage enemies and friendlies. And the final skill unlocks a pirate ship mode, which turns you into a, an awesome pirate ship with cannons. I can't wait to see that. And, uh, this skill tree also increases your fire rate and reload speed depending on how low your health is. The second skill tree is called I Love You Guys, and this is an amazing co-op tree. Nearly, nearly every ability in this tree affects you and your allies. Things like reduced cooldown for everybody's action skill, increased health regeneration for the entire team, and increased downtime and downgun damage for the entire team. It also has abilities that become more effective the more people you are playing with. For example, 2% extra damage for each additional co-op partner. The final skill is called High Five Guys, and you hold the melee button to give you and your friend increased gun damage, fire rate, and health regeneration after they give you a high five back. High five back, and if they leave you hanging, you get the, the bonuses all for yourself. The final skill tree is called Fragmented Frag Trap, and this one is one of the most complicated skill trees I've ever seen. It's all about subroutines, and it's just completely nuts. Um, every two minutes, you get a new random subroutine, and the subroutine is focused on a random gun type, like shotgun or sniper or rockets or pistols, and shields and health and melee attacks. Then for those two minutes, you do 25% more damage with that damage type, and 15% less with everything else. So if you get a sniper rifle subroutine and you don't have a sniper, you're stuck doing less damage for the next two minutes. There's also a triple clocked skill that then triples bonuses and penalties for each subroutine. So this is going to be a great skill tree after you've unlocked all four uh, weapon slots. So thanks for checking out this video. I hope it makes uh, choosing a class in Borderlands, the pre-sequel, a little bit easier. Game on.